Hi folks, in my last video tutorial you can found some information how to work with pin connection. In this video tutorial I will focus on slider. So here is the example for final results that we can create some cylinder and create a mechanism for it. Yes, so this is the final and I will start from scratch. So we will create totally new assembly and first component what I would like to add by assemble component is use the cylinder. The cylinder we can place based on datum features. Yeah, so you can select datum planes to datum planes or you would like to use the coordinate system to coordinate systems. So it depends how you would like to orient the model or you can use the default orientation. Yeah, so system will align all datum planes and datum feature all together. This is a fixed model, yeah, right now. And what I would like to apply here is the second model. And this object I'd like to place. I don't want to see the 3D dragger. You can spin with Control Alt and middle button or right mouse button. You can move or pan. And I like to use the slider connection. For a slider connection, you can see if you select the placement that is necessary, select the axis alignment. So it's really cool and really easy. Select two cylindrical surfaces. And then what you need to do is fix this rotation. You would like to move it like this, but you don't want to spin this model. Yes, so select the rotation, apply the visibility of that feature, for example, and select datum planes for first component and then again select datum plane for selected component what was in the first selection. So best practice if you select axis alignment two components the second selection has to be based on the same objects. If you finish and fix rotation you have the possibility to move outside inside yeah, so you can finish and if you would like to try how it works, you can use the drag component. Yeah, so it's the possible. What I not defined right now is that I can move it away. I don't think so, that is good. So we can set up and use the edit definition function. And in the placement tab, you can see that is a trans translation axis. It means I like to set up maximum and minimum value for movement. You can select two surfaces, yeah. You can specify the value what you would like to use. For example, now will be it's okay for me. And this value can be again set as zero value. So I would like to set that this one is set zero. Yeah, right now I'm right. And then you would like to move, for example, this way. And you can see here that the visibility is minus six. So my minimum value will be minus six. And maximum right now will be zero. So I can move left and right where I, where I would like to go. And regeneration value. Yeah, so you can move where you want. And for example, I'd like to use the regeneration value. You can use, you don't need to use it. For example, three. So if I will apply regeneration value over here with the value, I can confirm. If I will move a dragger, you can see that maximum minimum is set up. The system can move only with slider connection, but it's not possible to spin. That's good. I'm, I'm glad. And if you regenerate, control G button, the system will set up the regeneration position value and is everything done. Maybe last information that if you select the edit definition tab again and you go to trans placement tab, translation axis, over here is again the possibility to set the dynamic properties. So for example, set up a friction and you can reuse it for your animation. And another dynamic calculation. 
In this video tutorial, you have seen how to work with slider and stay in touch. Bye bye. Bye.